How's it going guys? I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, so basically, I'm gonna jump a little bit. So basically the intercooler that I got, um, which you might have seen in the last video, is now on the car, okay? So I couldn't record it, just frankly because I did not have enough time and I needed somebody to help me as well as move everything around, carry things around. Basically I couldn't do it on my own, but that saying that, um, Saying that, I have actually done a video in the past where I've removed the AC rad from my A3, um, which I can link in the corner now, whichever corner it is. Um, and that's basically the same procedure, it's literally just bumper off, front of the car off, put it in, and then other than just doing the boost pipes and whatnot, and it's installed. But um, I'll throw up a couple of pictures now of what I do have. Um, so pictures of the new intercooler, and I also have cool pictures of me installing the intercooler. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how the car Okay, so just quickly, this is the old intercooler. So obviously this is the front, I spray black because I took the AC rad out. Um, so yeah, that is what it is. If, you, if anybody wants this, give me a shout. I'll probably let it go for cheap. But um, yeah, um, so other than that, Obviously, we've done the springs the other day, so they should have settled in a bit more. Um, the back is always the best, and the, the front is just still a bit higher than I would like, but to be fair, I don't think um, it's going to bother me, because um, it drives perfectly fine. It doesn't like hop all over the road, it drives perfectly. Um, and obviously, we've got the new intercooler on now, so you can actually see it in there about but um yeah it's honestly it's a night and day difference if you guys have an s3 let me get the bonnet if you guys have an s3 right you guys need to do the intercooler because i had this like on standard intercooler for ages and i never realized how much it was heat soaking or just suffering with not having like cold air or the you know now having the available air it is literally night and day it feels so much better even like vibrations and stuff it feels so much more just smoother in general so um yeah i'm dead happy with it i'll go ahead and put a link in the description of um the one i got it was not relatively i mean it was 650 pounds this one um so it's not cheap cheap but it's um it's yeah it is what it is <laughs> but um yeah guys literally like first drive out in it today and it was so 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 much better so much smoother and even like coming on boost and everything it's literally so much more aggressive and you can feel it better and it's just oh it's perfect so so yeah guys um just a little bit of an update video, I suppose, because obviously I didn't recall putting the intercooler in. Um, but yeah, otherwise, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited for the map. The map is next Monday, so I'm recording this video on Sunday, and then I've still got one more week, and then it's going to be Monday. Um, and then we're going to get mapped. I'll go ahead and I'll uh, set up camera so that's like on the way there. I'll record my reaction to go on the, on the way there, and I'll also um record my first reaction of what it's like after obviously the car's running 350 no 330 now um roughly um and now it's got the intercooler upright fuel pump the rs4 valve and the stage 2 plus clutch so hopefully we should um i'm hoping and i'll be very grateful if it goes to like about 350 360 uh, 360 I'd be very happy with but um, we'll, we shall see what the dyno says um, so uh, yeah one week to go and then we'll find out so uh, yeah but otherwise guys I think I'll leave it at that I mean just sort of an update really obviously we're still moving still getting things done so uh, yeah I'll go ahead and catch you guys in the next video the next video should be the intercooler so look forward to that I'll see you guys a bit.